This is just a demonstration of the iPhone 5 versus iPhone 6 on the tab, shift tab keys. I'd like to see the option to go back for tab or shift tab where it chooses the beginning of the motion and the end. You look in iPhone 5, you come down here, there's the option to press tab, goes to the end of the motion. Press tab again, and it goes to the beginning of the next motion. That's what we need in 6. The same way, it goes to the end, goes to the beginning, goes to the end. Beginning, end, beginning, end. In 6, it automatically assumes that we want to go to the beginning of the next option. If I'm on this motion here, and I want to find out where the start of this one is, it'll go to it. But that's not necessarily where I want to be. Suppose I move these three over, like this, and I hit tab. It goes over here. But look at this gap. Maybe I want to put a motion here. How do I know where the exact end of this motion is so that I can get a good linear connection between this motion and the next without having to use the long transition to get there or to move this by accident and overlap part of that one and cut it off. If I were to press play here and move it there's a slight misstep there because I dragged it over. There's no tab to the end of the actual motion. If I hit tab here, it goes all the way to the beginning. Tab, 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 tab. It assumes that I want to go to the beginning of the motion. I want to go to the end of the motion prior to it so I can add a new one. Like here, I want to go to the very end. But instead, it takes me all the way back to the beginning because that's the last motion it sees. In 5, it goes beginning and end. I'd like to see that returned. Cricky out.